So, we have these to show you as well. Right, there we go, our first sort of festive fast food thing. Oh, he's not in a good mood. Somebody's not happy at being left at the apartment. Welcome to the next day of Vlogmas. Thought I'd put my Disneyland Paris hat on this morning. Are you cold? <laughs> you need to put mine on. Wait a minute. Get oh, your can I get on. the tinsley one now? You've got a better one. So, <clears throat> it's time to open some more advent calendars and we have two more added to the range. My mum got us these and when we saw her last time she gave us them. So um, we've got five chocolate, five, uh, six chocolates yeah. to take out of each one now. Um, so, we have these to show you as well. Which our lovely friend Debbie, Michaela, and Danny. Yep, our lovely friend sent us these. So it says Nick's Christmas movie mug and Lee's Christmas movie mug. Are they metal or plastic? Metal, like camping cups. Oh, yeah. So she said these are for when we're doing our watch parties. We're gonna have eggnog. <clears throat> and we're gonna try and make eggnog today. Lee's gonna check. We have Tesco delivery due today. I think I've got everything on it to make eggnog, apart from, but it'll also mean that I have to sacrifice that. Tartar Palatte Palatte flag thing that we had in Disney. Well, can't we just go to the shop and get extra? Well, yeah. That's what a normal person would do. Right then. So, we're going to have coffee, we're going to have toast, then we're going to open our advent calendars. <laughs> we're having one slice of toast to share between two people because we've got no bread. We've got a Tesco delivery coming tonight. First Tesco delivery in ages. It's got some Christmas bits on as well. It's all nice to be back at the lodge and seeing our tree, which is basically better than a Disney tree, I think. Don't you think? Ta -da! Definitely better than the one. Well, obviously not size-wise, but it's definitely better than the one in um, the main square in uh, Main Street, USA, in Disneyland Paris, because it was colourless and big balls. It had big balls. Hiya, can I get two festive pies, please? Let me just see if you set me down. I'm trying to get a festive pie from McDonald's. Yeah, we've already got them ready. Yeah, just two. Uh, yeah, and can I get... I've got two free teas as well yeah. on the app. What do we need to do to get them? Um, if you come round to the top window and get them to scan your, yep. scan your phone, okay. Okay, that's great. Amazing. They've actually got a festive I was ready to drive away. <laughs> we've just tried to order the breakfast deal <clears> and <throat> it basically said at 5 to 11 that the coffee had expired from the offer. We'd missed it by one minute. Two teas in slightly festive mugs. The fact that we get two free means we come here too much. Eh, uh, well we're getting two free teas, yeah we got them free. And we're just waiting for our festive pies. Two festive pies! Right, there we go, our first sort of festive fast food thing. Right, so it's, it's instead of an apple pie, it's a festive pie with minced meat and custard. Right, I'm gonna try it, here we go. Go on then. If you hear anybody screaming, it's the woman next door, she's a bit excited. Uh -huh. Ooh, ah uh -huh. So if you're from America watching these vlogs, you'll notice that I, this is what our apple pies come like too. It's deep fried. Yeah, the apple pies in America are like more... Um, pastry. Yeah, kind of pastry type things. Either. Let me try oh, that. i got nothing but pastry there. Mm, what's it custard in it? Mince meat and custard. Mince meat, I've still not got it. Yet, <laughs> <wait>. <laughs> it's just empty. Oh, oh. Hot. Uh -huh. mm. There you go, you've got some custard now. Mm. That's nice, I just need the mincemeat to go with it. Let me try again. If it's all custard at the end. Mmm, that was all. Mincemeat, finally. Mmm, it's delicious, actually. Surprise, surprise, we have different op opinions on that. <laughs> First bite, it was delicious, and then I tasted the flavouring of the mincemeat, which wasn't actually the proper mincemeat flavour. It was, like, artificial. I thought it was really nice. It was nice, and I would have one again, but it I was... I thought they were the... better than the apple pies. No, the really, apple yeah. pies, you can taste the cinnamon, but that just tasted... I liked the custard in it. Like, I can taste tartrazine in it. It was just a bit... A bit fla artificial flavoured. I know the last scene... Well, the last scene before the last scene, I said we were going to open the advent calendars, but then I had a call. I had to come out for a, a quick appointment for work. So um, that's why we're out having mince pies at um, We will be opening. McDonald's. Well, you've got... I've got three days on yours, yeah. we've got six days on the chocolate ones, and I've got one day on my cheese one. Just need to call off at um, Morrison's to get a few bits and bats for some eggnog, eggnog that right. we're going to make tonight. Let's do that now. That one nice and easy. We figured out what we've got at home, and we're going to need a double cream, eggs and milk. Look at that as well. A box of mulled wine. Oh yeah. 4 99 Christmas Carol on. 
it reminds us of Disney. <laughs> it reminds us of when we're walking down Main Street at Disney. We've just got to um, Eastfield Gardens Centre. We've not been here yet to have a look at their Christmas display. They usually have a quite, a, it's a small one, but it's usually quite nice actually. And it's the first time we've been in probably two years. So, for, their and you never, for their Christmas. Yeah, and you never know, You might we might get something in there. You putting your Christmas hat on? No, not in here. <laughs> it's a bit early. <laughs> Here it is! Christmas decorations! Ooh, that's it! Oh no, it's up here as well. So, like I said, two years since we've been here. It's not very uh, low lit, is it? It's more like cold lit. Yeah. What's these? Is it wine or diffusers? <laughs> Red wine baubles. Is there no in them? Well, I presume not. It's just a... Well, are you sure that's a bauble? It's like a magnetic yeah. thing on it. No, it's uh, a corkscrew. Oh, it, uh, it looks like bauble. a bauble to me. Ooh, all the stacks. If we hadn't got that one from Tea Cakes Max. That one that's laying down, you can put it in front of it. I've got one already. Yeah, I've got two like that. Down, huh? Yeah, I've got two, well, two of them that, that size. No, How yeah, much is that one? You don't got price on that's 19.99. Well, that'll be about 10.99 then. Oh my God, they've got a nativity. Not actually religious. I mean, I did sort of grow, sort of read in the Bible and stuff like that. And always, whenever I see a nativity, it always makes me think about school when I was in junior school. What about that one for the lodge? No, I don't want to, Tack the lodge up with some kind of wooden hut. <laughs> I um, I always remember it when I was at school. We always used to paint um, pictures of the uh, seven dwarfs. Yeah, I don't know what that's got to do with nativity. <laughs> I don't know what that's got to do with nativity. But I always remember we did like the nativity, and then I remember painting. It just reminds me of school. I don't know why. And then we also the other night we watched nativity on um, on one of the streaming channels, didn't we? like the true story and it's got um, Oscar Isaacs in it. It Christmas music in it as well. It does. So this is basically identical. That's a better one this though. It's taller. It's a lot taller. That's made a pot as well. Yeah. I mean Leaf oh, Smash Dows is. Well. What? Lights up. Oh, that'd be why it's expensive. That's not bad, is it? So they still haven't finished putting out here. But oh, look at these. These brands here are the same brands of uh, our our tree. Oh no, they're not. That's Ever Everlands. Well, Ours is Ambassador. The apartment. Yeah, we're not putting that up this year. That's the point. We're not even going to be there. Do like that tree though, must say. It's white outside and the night is cold. Everyone's lighting candles in their homes. Yes, it's Christmas. It's a magic time You can feel it in the air That every child Got their hearts filled up With joy Yes, it's Christmas All around All snow is falling down All the colored lights lighting up this Friggin' hell, that's very similar to mine. It's exactly the same. Price hat, six ninety nine. It exactly was the same, without the horns and without the badge yeah, on the front. It was nineteen ninety nine euros. Now, much is this? Six ninety nine. Right, we're back in the car. We're gonna go back to the lodge now, get it all snuggly and warm. Lee's got some thumbnails to do. I have actually. Um, I'm a bit behind. <laughs> you're not behind at I all. I've got, oh no, I've only got one to do actually. Yeah, so you're not behind. Um, we still haven't finished our Christmas shopping yet. We keep, we said this, we, we, we're completely finished. And then a couple of things has come up and we now can't find some bits for a certain present. So we just, we're we just found something there. in there, but the expiry date on it it's, is- um, It's not close enough to Christmas to get them at the moment. Yeah. So you just have to be patient. Wait. Come, well, we we'll just have to come back. Quite disappointed with the Christmas displays in there. They still haven't put them all out, and it was all very well. There were fluorescent lights, and it didn't really feel cosy. Back at the lodge, I wanted to show you a couple of things that I got. When we went home um, for the last couple of days, my sister gave us this to put up. Well, she didn't. Us. She just said, "Well, there's a big pile of posts there." And she just said, "Oh, open it for me." Yeah. So we did, and it was it were a Christmas present for so us. That, oops. <laughs> so anyway. She said it was for before Christmas anyway. She wanted us to put it up before Christmas. So I think she got it from Etsy. Where are we going to put it? Um, we will hang it probably over there. Get the over there. There's a couple of Christmas presents and we're just about to wrap up your car show. Oh yeah, oh, I've just so seen them. That's, I think it's from Etsy, um, I presume. Because I know my sister uses Etsy. And then today, I bought these two for little stocking fillers. I saw them uh, locally. 
they were two pound fifty each, and it goes to Alzheimer's. So knitted things. That's just reminded me. Not really speaking. With Eric, you. we've left Eric at the apartment. Poor Eric. He's <sighs> under bed, isn't he? Yeah. Eric the elf. One of them's got a um, cherry chocolate orange. <laughs> that looks like, like a big bottom. yolk on an egg. <laughs> on a boob. Do they look like two eyes? Not quite. Shall I open my uh, advent calendar? Yeah, go on then. Because I do have a So, as you guys know, we aren't filming daily, so we are filming this for uh, the 5th and 6th. So you've got it open. You've got to get everything up to the 6th. I'm not filming it. Let me go and move them. <sighs> There's all the stuff for the eggnog we're going to try and make later. We're not actually going to put any booze in it, we're just going to put shots in the glasses that we drink so we don't waste booze. Yeah, so we're not filming daily, but I'm saving these so I can open them on camera. So what days are we on now? Um, I've opened one, two, and three. So you need to four. three, four, uh, three, four. No, done three. One, two, and three is done. Come so on. four, five, and six, because we're filming five and six today. All right. So. Oh, the last big one. Oh, what's this? Oh, a shoe on. Eh? That's shoe a bloody on? shoe on. Well, what is it? Oh, well, unless oh, you've oh, unless that? you've got a bottle <laughs> to top on your frigging foot. Top, like you know, you like you on. like. Well. Beef, beef from. Yeah, beef. The that's exactly right. Number five. I hope there's some of that moisturiser I've been using on a night. Oh, what's this? Designed with care. What is it? I don't know. Well, best open it. Maybe it's a hundred pound gift voucher. Yeah. And it, right. like, it comes in like one of a thousand calendars or something like that. Oh, I can't open it. Hang on a I'm sure you can. I'm sure it's probably something like a face mask or something oh, yeah, like that. Oh, yeah, it might be actually. I think I've seen that on box. Yeah. Oh, mm. that's a silky one. It's like a... It's like a silky stocking. Well, yeah, it's like a it's like a boudoir -y type one. So, number five. I am just going to pop them back in so that once I've done opened it all, I can get them all back out. Five, and then... Well, don't close six. the window. Well, I know... Because you're not going to I've find done, out. I know that I've done four. Six. In six. Here. This is my last one for today. Oh, this actually, it's going to be for you. Yeah, post shave balm. Oh. Because so I wet shave, Lee doesn't, Lee dry shaves. Dry, I'll leave that one out. Right, so, there you go. my turn. As well. Yeah. Now, so. I opened mine last night in September. Did you? Up until the the 5th. So, so I've only got, got one more. to open, and it was very nice cheese, actually. I had um, Sunday roast cheese, and oh my god, it was the most delicious thing I've ever tasted. So, I didn't get a looking. So, I'm back to having nothing to eat, yeah, apart from a chutney. a chutney. <laughs> I can't even get it out. Does it say what... Um, what flavour it is? It is potting shed pickle. Mm. So I need to wait for some cheese and some crackers. And then we'll have to just open those. We're going to do them, like, off camera. Yeah, my mum got me these, so I'll, I will do those at some point. Obviously it's going to be We'll have one of them each time we have a cup of tea. I do like that one, I haven't seen that one. Put kettle on. Right, it's a few hours later. I had a... Uh, I was going to say a very productive afternoon, uh, wrapping some more presents. Uh, spent most of it asleep watching Waking, Waking Dead, Walking Dead. Asleep watching Walking Dead. Well, you've been asleep. I had a nap. And you've watched Walking Dead. I've watched some Walking Dead. I've got, I've got into it again. We watched it years ago, like years and years and years ago. And it got when it first started, about ten years ago. We got into about episode three and then stopped. Season three. Yeah, season three. Sorry. Uh, but our friends Lisa and Ed, who we were in, with, in Disneyland Paris, watch it all the time. We got them into Downton, so they said, well, you need to get into Walking Dead. So I said, well, we have watched it. So anyway, I watched season one today while wrapping um, some presents, episode one, should I say. And I really enjoyed it again. I, I remember how good it was. So we're so. on episode two. So anyway, Nick's got a few hellos to do. Some of these I might have done because because, we, because we've done the Paris trip and whatnot. Um, I've forgotten what we've done, so I'm just going to repeat some of these. So, um, hello to Rebecca H. Emma P, Kira H, Joseph G, Sarah W, and Tammy D. Hi guys, thank Welcome you for joining guys. our YouTube members or patron. Um, so I've emailed all you guys, and um, we are going to be starting to make the eggnog very shortly. We've just had. Not be there. Hmm. Okay, sit me down. What are we saying? I was going to say we're going to start making our eggnog. We got the door again. We 
he's not in a good mood. Somebody's not happy at being left in the apartment. Apparently, he caught the train. I wonder if he'll come back out of the room this vlogmas. Oh, I reckon he's gonna be sulking me. Right, here's most of the ingredients. We've gotta put some rum We're out. in it, because it serves 12. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we got this off the BBC um, food website, is that right? I think so, yeah. Um, so we've got some eggs, some double cream. We've got the 50% less, less fat elm lee. We got some skimmed milk, although I did say use whole milk. Um, so you need some sugar. We got some cinnamon sticks and some ground cinnamon and got some cloves. I am actually tweaking it based on the um, cross yeah. between the BBC one and the Jamie Oliver one. I'm going to have it in my um, Just got to find my nutmeg. Uh, nutmeg as well. And you're supposed to put rum in it, aren't you? But we're putting something different in it. We put brandy, whiskey, rum, anything spirit or alcoholic like that. So we're putting in what, what you're we're put? putting brandy in it. Right. Right. Do you separate eggs? <laughs> I don't know. You, you like mix them in the shell, don't you? Like that. No. No, it's like snot. Like you go from one to other. Yeah, no. I've got to get the bulk of that's the, it, the snot it, out. It. So we need egg yolks for this. Right, so one there. So the recipe, it serves 12, so we're half in it. So we need three Ooh. egg yolks. And then you whisk those in with... So 100 we'll... grams, uh, 50 grams of caster sugar. Yes until the mixture is pale, yellow, and thick. Right, can you get me the uh, scales, please? I'd just say use golden sugar, but... It'll be fine. Right, right not much. There. So right, mix whisk, that in. Mix it in, whisk it in until it's, um, like, pasty. Right. Ooh. Well, that went pasty quick. Done! Right, stir in the milk, double cream, and rub or, rum or bourbon. So we need... Do we need to heat anything up? No, it doesn't say so. 250 ml of milk right, and 200 ml of double cream. Right, moment, moment, moment. So 250 ml of... 250 ml of milk. Yeah. No, it does say whole milk and I imagine that will be a lot nicer. But we're trying to be slightly better. I think that ship sailed a long time 250 ago. 250 gram and then 400 gram of double cream. Now is that half the double cream? Yeah, 200 ml double cream. Right, so this is a 270ml tub. Nah, we're gonna put it on. Oh! Uh, you're right. And then your, your alcohol. I'm not putting the alcohol in, because I'm making it non-alcoholic and then I'll put the brandy in as we eat it. Okay. So when do we warm it up? You can add a little grated nutmeg as well. Oh yeah. If right. you like your nog this way. Nog. Right, I'm going to put in... It doesn't tell you how much, it just says to taste. I'm going to put one clove in as well. Oops. I've well, put two in. Why, what does that taste like? And then, just a minute. So, a little tiny bit of... It doesn't really say, it just says to taste. So, you just got to decide. It is quite strong taste in his nutmeg. So I'll just put that little bit in. And then, what about cinnamon? Um, no. Not in the recipe? No. Right, I'm going to just... I have to just put, put some in, but I remember in, yeah. last year when we made it, it kind of didn't mix and we had to filter yeah, it. Yeah, so don't put too much in. Why don't you just put the cinnamon sticks in? Yeah, just put them in. Right, so at what point do we cook it? Right, so, this is the uh, BBC one. Da -da -da -da. Pour the mixture into two half pint bottles with stoppers and store in the fridge for up to two weeks. Eh? Have you missed a bit again? No. Right, so it, it turns out that that BBC one was Crap. like a, a cold uh, eggnog. Um, so we've switched over to the Jamie Oliver one now. You have to be careful because if you do it too hot, it yeah. lacks its form custard. Yeah, so, well, it goes on high, isn't it? Yeah, but it's still got to warm up. So I'm just going to keep stirring it. Yeah, and then adding your, well, you said you're going to add alcohol. At the, yeah. We'll do the alcohol as we serve it rather than just pour it And then in. this one says, before serving, beat the egg whites into in a large bowl until soft peaks form. Gently fold into eggnog until combined. So I'll do that bit while you're doing that bit. Right, okay. Faster, faster, faster. Right, while Lee's whipping the um, meringues, um, I've put some cinnamon sticks in. It's meringue. I've put some cinnamon sticks in and I've put a bit of vanilla extract in. So it's gonna be a little bit custardy, but I've gotta make sure that I don't heat it too fast or it will actually a little thicken and it will be custard, literally. Right. We've given up with the egg yolk because it just won't beat, even though we've both been doing it for ages. Maybe well, the arms are up and down like a fiddler's yeah. elbow. It is. Well, I think it's getting a bit. No, it's not. Maybe it's I'll do it a bit snot. more. 
We need a, a mixer and we haven't got one. So you can drink it warm, but most people and most recipes say cool it for a bit, so we're going to let it, leave it to cool no, for a little bit, cool. aren't we? Well, I'm going to put it in the fridge. And yeah. When we get the brandy out, yeah. we're going to have a shot of brandy. Brandy eggnog. Ooh. Oh, is that some rum? Oh. No, that's my brandy. Yeah. have uh, been necking it. Not me. Right, so you're going to just let it cool in the pan. I'll put it in the... Oh, I'm going to put... Well, let it cool down and then yeah. I'll put it in the fridge. Okay. How much time passed since last scene? Two hours. <laughs> Two hours? And it's still like snot. It's getting there now though. Oh, you've been saying that for the last hour. Well, look now. Like, okay. Look, it's actually sticking now. Yeah, it's definitely getting there. <laughs> You're deranged. So Tesco's been, that's now fully cooled, the shopping's away. I've had to nip down to Tesco because they never delivered that on the shopping, so I'm about to go and get it. So I might as well have just done the whole shop at Tesco. And I've got everything from our cook along tomorrow. While Lee's been stood here, whipping <laughs> that for two hours. Ache all night long. There's gonna be splashes. Well, look at There's it no all splashes over. It's, it's all over tea it's towel. It's almost there Right, now. screw that, I wanna eat the damn thing. Right, I've just had a go with it, and I've managed to stiffen it a little bit, so it's kind of... Not quite peaky, but it'll do, it's going in a liquid drink. Look at it now. Right, can you just hold the camera? Oh, I've done a fine job there. I've just done that in the oh, last 10 minutes. Oh, excuse me, I'm just... Oh, and my two, two hours. hours of doing it. I'm wait a minute, wait a minute. You've been going like this. You've been, this is what you've been doing. Right. Watching Walking Dead, yeah. and then going... Yeah, right. Like that, tickling it round right, the what we're doing. Right, I'm going to fold it in. Don't blame me if it goes wrong. If it goes wrong. Well, yeah. we're drinking it. Yeah. No have, you, what. have you actually read the instructions? Yeah, mix it in. The thing is, it's still raw egg, and this is cooked in the pan. I just pour it all in, for frick's sakes. It won't make us ill, will it? No. Uh, well, yeah, because you make meringues out of it, don't you? Yeah, but you cook meringue. Mm. Right, let me just get rid of that. Do <coughs> you think we should heat it again still? Yeah, or? maybe. And then let it cool. Well, you can have it hot. Well, yeah, I suppose. Right, let's just warm it a little bit more. Back in a minute. What right. do? Fucking hell. You want it strong, don't you? Ooh. Mine. Glad you've got more. It's not a Christmas movie mug tonight. It's a Christmas watching the Walking it's a, it's Dead. It's a nog mug. It's our nog mugs. Watching the Walking Dead movie. Uh, cup. Right, can you just um, keep that moving while I just get the ladle out? It certainly looks different from last year now because we didn't we didn't put the egg whites in last year, did we? No, we didn't. We probably followed a different recipe last yeah. year. Um, right, I need a little bit of um, ground cinnamon to garnish it with. In the pan or on the top of the drink? Mm. On top of the drink when it's done. Right, right. Let me go on then. Let's get pouring. We need to get it warm. You can either have it freezing cold or baking red hot, not lukewarm. Right, I'm, I'm just going to pour I'm that. I'm going to ladle it now into mm. the pan. I'm just, it's still kind of like heated up, but um, right. Let me just. Go on. Now there is some cinnamon sticking in this, so I just need to, be, need to be careful that it don't go into one of cups. So, and then fill it up, and then stir that in. Cup of nog. Yes, please. Ooh, yeah, come on. All right, what you put on top of it? Just a sprinkle of cinnamon. Hold on. That'll do, that'll do, that'll do, that'll do. It's cinnamon. Right, shall I try it or you try it? Oh, look at that. That looks amazing. Right, let me try it. Fact, should have stirred it really before I put the garnish on, shouldn't I? To make the brandy mix in. It's kind of like oh, no. custard oh, <laughs> with cinnamon. Mm. Very strong. Mm. That would be so nice if you were like a Christmas market. I'm not, I'm not keen on the foaminess of the uh, the meringue. But yeah, Christmas market. Mm. It's going to be steaming hot and it needs a bit more alcohol, I think. Mm. 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 That is actually quite delicious. Yeah, it is actually. I like Very the nice. thickness of it, yeah. but the foaminess on the top mm. is not my, my favourite. And it's a healthy drink too. All right, yeah. Hello, it's the next day. Um, so, just to be doing a few bits and bats today, this morning, I've been creating some new Christmas merch. Um, we're going to head out, but before we head out, we're going to open our advent calendars and ignore the um, coffee stain there from this morning. Um, what was I going to say? Oh yes, 
this afternoon we have a Christmas cook-along. So we'll film that so you can see that. I'm calling it a Christmas cook-along. It's only Christmas because we've got Christmas hats on while we're doing it. No advent calendar today. Why? Because yesterday's we opened two, didn't we? Um, should we open one of these then? Which one so give us? It's the fifth and sixth. Let's open a couple of these then. Uh, go on then. Obviously these are the same, so whatever in it here is the same. I'm guessing it's going to be Kit Kat chocolate. Um, the li 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 oh, there, me too. Let's have a look. Is it? Oh, yes. Right then. We'll a little Christmas. Oh, wait a minute. It's not even a Kit Kat. It's a solid chocolate. I'm sorry about I'm having two. I'm me having too. day two. Oh, this is different. Oh, I expected them all to be different. I've got a ball, have you? To be the same. Yeah. yeah. Christmas uh, Kit Kat ball. So that's day one and day two and those dinner. done. I like them, actually. So later on, yeah. um, I'm going to be making some candied peel. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm actually going to remake. We've got, we've got cook along for our patrons and YouTube members at six. Yeah. We're making um, chicken chorizo taglatelli yeah but separately i need to make candied peel yeah to put in the next version of the gingerbread cake because i've actually managed to get some black treacle this yeah. time okay so i'm going to make it super treacle so it's going to be it's going to be a ginger and orange slow cooker cake yeah so i've got to convert that into candied peel we're just nipping out now because i've got to um, post a couple of patron um christmas presents which you can see there i can show you them now because they're wrapped up i thought you were keeping that for a cuppa so we're just going to nip out to the post office and then just for a cuppa. Right, it is almost time for our cook along. Cook along! So Nick's just setting the um, laptop up on Zoom and all that lot. There we go. Um, these are all the ingredients. I think Nick may have showed you them or not. But um, tagliatelle, chorizo, um, chives, garlic bread, corn we'll have it instead of chicken, uh, a chorizo. Why have you got all this chorizo? For the chorizo dinner. Parmigiano Reggiano. Parmesan peel. Uh, diced onion, garlic, chicken stock, and some light Philadelphia. I told everybody to get all like fresh stuff, and I've just got all pre cooked stuff, so I can explain it. Well, I have only made this once, so well, it, it may go wrong. Well. So um, I'm sure it's going to be nice, and I'm looking forward to it because I'm it really hungry. It is delicious. Hungry. We know we've had this before. Yeah. So let me just talk. So let me make sure that you ordered the right one. Otherwise, this is not going to last much. Oh, it'll stink of feet. Feet? Yeah. If you bought the right one, it'll just smell a mozzarella. Oh, you bought the right one. Missed one ingredient. A glass you of red wine. can't have an Italian without a glass of red. No, exactly. And, and to cook with that is, you know, needed, necessary. Well, I could put some white wine into, into the meal, but... Oh, no, I'm not opening a bottle of white. No. We don't drink white. We don't have any white. And that, like I said, just, this is just for the vlog. I saw this on Gordon Ramsay. Yeah. I saw it on Jamie Oliver years ago, but I always forgot. But I looked it up today. If you cut it where the root is there, so then you've got like the, the side piece. Nick's doing his cook along. And then you put slices in it, not, don't cut down to the root, and then half it, and then chop it. You literally get to hold the root, and the whole thing comes into tiny little bits. It's easier to, ex ah. it's easier to, um, to do it than actually explain it. Fascinating. Right. Pop it on here, just bear me one second. We've got his water on for his pasta. The onions are in. Nick's um, chopped the garlic. So uh, we're getting there. Right, this is where we're at at the minute. The tagliatelle is in and cooking. And um, that's the dish at the moment. It smells amazing. Can't be that far off from finishing now, can we? the rest of the parmesan and screw it. Uh, well, go on then. Make it very cheesy. Right, if anybody else really likes the parmesan, just bunk the whole pack in. Bunk the whole pack in? Yeah, just, just dump it in. You can actually save it for, um, for like garnish or something like that. It's like a brie, but you melt it. But I've also got some like mature cheddar to mix in with it as well. And it's like sliced potatoes, onion, double cream, garlic, shallots. Um, Nick should tell everybody what, what his, gonna, his next dish is going to be, which uh, you guys will see. French cheese. What is it? Yeah. It's um, it like a casserole. Or no, it's like a it's like a cheesy potato type thing, like like, like we uh, had in it's it's the dish that we had in Disneyland Paris, isn't it? What do they call them potatoes when you have cheese? Like potato gratin or something like that. It's like a potato gratin. <laughs> But it's called yeah. tartar falata or something like that. Tartar it's falata? Something French, I don't know. It just tartar, tartar. Something or other. Yeah, something like that. Well done. Right, people are getting Bye. finished. Some people have finished before, so they're off to eat. I am here, Bye. I'm just draining my pasta. Nick's just draining his pasta. Right, we've done. And we've plated up. The guys have gone off to eat theirs. So there we go. What do you call this dish, Nick? Um, chicken and chorizo. Or chorizo, whatever you want to call it. Um, creamy tagliatelle. Yeah, and as it's Vlogmas, it's Christmas chicken and chorizo tagliatelle. What? Yeah. No gag? Yes, please. We're trying the eggnog from last oh, night. Oh, God, it looks like custard. It's yeah, just... but this is how you're supposed to serve it, like 
cold. Let me try it now. That meal was delicious, by the way. That was amazing. This is like cold very custard. Very vanilla. Cold, yeah, cold custard. I've put the brandy in already. Mm. Ooh, and I'm gonna I... get you're gonna get a bit of, bit of um... cinnamon. Yeah. I think I might need a spoon for this. It needs mixing up. That's I know for it sure. does. You gotta, well, you got to mix it into the brandy. The things we do for Vlogmas. All we ever do for Vlogmas is eat. Imagine, all we ever do normally is eat. Oh shit, I've lost it. It's gone in. Never mind. You'll have to mix that up. I know. We did make a small portion. Right, just... Mm, look That's lovely. Really strong. Yay. Well. It's much nicer cold. It is actually much nicer. Much I've just... Colder. It's also nice that we actually mixed the brandy in tonight rather than just poured it on top yesterday. Mm. It's actually really, really nice. It is delicious. I've just tasted I don't it. Want it warm anymore. There's a bit of there's a bit too much vanilla in it. I put a bit too much vanilla in it. It tastes a little bit artificial mm. vanilla. It's like custard with whiskey or whatever it is. Brandy. Whatever. It's the next day again. Three day vlog. Um, we're just gonna nip out. <clears throat> I've got a bit of a cold. If you can hear my voice. But it's okay. I took two lateral flow tests. They're both negative. But just in case, we both went for PCR tests and they were both negative, so I've just got a cold. Um, so, <clears throat> we're going to nip out. Um, Nick wants a couple of bits. We need a couple of bits. Some just stocking up, like, on um, I want to get washing some, tablets. Some warm like. cinnamon zoflora. Nick's been influenced by our friend Lisa on uh, Life with Lisa. Um, she had warm cinnamon zoflora. Smellies. Like, just left around the house so that the house smells of cinnamon and crisps and stuff. I love cinnamon and I love mulled wine. So we're going to get some of that. We need some more just dishwash tablets and stuff like that. And we're going to go see if there's any um, teepees in Beverly. Because they are coming this year, but I don't know when. Might be there now. Or Christmas know. shops. And, and the Mike Tolan Starbucks. See if they've got a yeah. eggnog latte. See, so that's see a bit specific. You've obviously been looking. I have. I've seen they do an eggnog latte. Eggnog latte. Eggnog latte. Eggnog latte. Just to see how it compares to our eggnog. And uh, we need to call at the charity shop again. We'll have to choose a different charity shop. Because we want to, uh, we've got some more clothes and thing, things to uh, put in. Right, let's go. Have you got it? Yeah, but well, they've only got lard. Warm cinnamon. This is the flora. Best be nice, Lisa. What else is these? So we've got a um, Christmas tree. Half price at Wilco's at the minute. Um, what's this one? Mulled wine. Mulled wine. In fact, I'll put that one back. because that's Apple cozy cider. Yeah, I'll put that one back actually. Right, we've just been in Wilkinson's. I decided not to get the warm cinnamon. And uh, oh my goodness me, I can see something. Yeah, bugger that. I can see something and it's open. The TP is there. Oh yeah, let's go and have a Right, screw, screw Starbucks. Right. The, the door's door open <laughs> and the fire's lit, which means it's actually it? up and running. Oh, yeah, it must be open then. What and it's here? completely empty. It's completely different if you're in there. Oh, I can't wait to get in there. Hot chocolate, mulled wine, snacks. What snacks have they got? Ooh, let's have a look. They don't usually have snacks. Oh no, they don't. They usually have like a muffin or something. Uh, Apple wassail, oh, hot western game, country cider. Ooh. Right, come on. It's definitely different now, isn't it? Let's have a look at the menu. Yeah. Right, Lee's not decided what he's having, but I'm not pissing about. I'm having a hot chocolate. Right, so I've got the normal hot chocolate. Lee's got a double Bailey's hot chocolate. Double Bailey's. And we've got some um, Chardonnay, salt and vinegar crisps, and also a Christmas cake, which is on its way. It's so good. Nick's got a mulled punch. Which just, needs, just needs a shot of brandy in it. Yeah, it's it like <laughs> no alcohol, but this uh, is just hot fruit juice, basically. It smells. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, 
I enjoyed that. Me too. I didn't uh, enjoy the music. No, they had country and western on rather than and Christmas, Westlife. which is a bit weird. Well, Diana Ross, Westlife. Yeah. And then country and western. It's like they couldn't make their mind up what music, and they didn't have any Christmas music at all. So we're just heading into town, just to see if we can get a couple more bits of um, Christmas shopping, because we've almost finished now. Just need a couple more bits. Yeah. Can you get in it? What, the Christmas tree? The Christmas train? The Christmas no, tree? It says yeah. not climb. Um, it looks like something that you should be serving chestnuts on. Yeah. I smell of your Christmas tree. That's and nothing. <laughs> Must be one of them that don't smell. Right, we're going to get one of these Christmas Eve boxes. It's a nice sturdy box, that. It's a massive box, actually. Because we've got the kids coming over and Hannah is coming up with her kids. Not for Christmas Eve, we're but gonna we're going to have like a fake Christmas fake Eve, Christmas. aren't we? So I'm just going to put a sticker on saying fake Christmas Eve. The week before. We're just going to simulate an entire Christmas. Yeah. So that'll do for putting some stuff in there for kids. Time for tonight's tea. The pasta's kind of all congealed because I've left it. It's the leftovers from yesterday. Oh well, shove it all in. Mm. It's all kind Might of be a bit dry. Bonded. No, it's not. It's because I left it in the pan for the water and the uh, colander for the water to drain. So Nick smelt that um, Zoflora warm winter, <clears throat> and he wasn't overly keen on the uh, smell. He didn't think it it smelt too Christmassy. It smells like cinnamon, but not. Mold wine. So we had the idea to get this one as well, cranberry and orange. These were only about 125 each, weren't they? Each, yeah, from Garden Center, actually. Right? And he's mixed them together and he's got them somewhere. I've got them in the bathroom because she really oh. can't smell a thing. This bathroom? Yeah. Let me have a smell. It's in a little shot glass on the uh, sink. I mean, my smell is not great at the minute because I'm a cold, but. Oh, definitely Christmassy. Can you smell it? I think, well, I really can't really smell it at the minute, but. <clears throat> Mm. Yeah. I'm just trying to... Why well, have we got three dishes? Oh, for the garlic bread. Garlic. That's the garlic bread. Oh, oh that's you. Break it's your fault. It's that time. Comments of the day? Go on then. <laughs> Since I've done that, thank you to everyone that has sent in a comments of the day dance. You saw okay. some. Something went wrong. Oh, shut up, you silly cow! You saw some there in that sequence. I'm getting my breath back, and I'm bunged up. It's not a good combination. <laughs> so, uh, if you want to be in comments of the day, drop us an email with your video, and you can be featured like those lovely people. Nick is going to do some comments of the day. If you send it past the uh, 14th or 15th of December, you'll be too late. But we can't do right. like a special like we yeah, last year. Right, so uh, Norma Lincoln says, how lovely, kind of like Florida, but with a twist. Those great British accents. Is that about Disneyland Paris? Presume so. Hollyweed says, haunted, man haunted manor, woo, thanks guys. With actually um, Phantom Manor, but never mind. One of my favorite things at Disneyland Paris, that. Uh, Elsa Hunt, uh, love the Phantom Mansion. Um, everybody gets it wrong, don't they? Love the Phantom Mansion, it's a small world, was great. Oh my god, all those ornaments, I'd have a field day. Stay safe, love, love Hatley. Uh, if I'd have had some room in my case, I would have brought an, uh, uh, a barble back. I've got enough bleeding barbles. Uh, Cheryl um, Hayes says, I love it, proper made me smile, love all your vlogs. Thank you, Cheryl. Uh, Vera, oh, we look so angry. Hi, Vera. Oh, that's about a. Uh, oh, that's the Eric video. That's, that's... a patron only uh, video that we yeah. shared today. Yeah. We actually, I did actually put it on Facebook as We've well. not seen Eric since, have we? He's been locked away. Yeah. We've got a watch party, 8pm. It is Nativity. I don't think I've ever seen that one It's before. a comedy with yeah, I think um, so. Martin something or other. Um, let's do one more. Um, Jeanette Farmer, your smiles and giggles are so infectious and really made me enjoy watching this. I have to admit, Disneyland Paris is cold, in the colder months, especially with all the Christmas vibes. It's a very special time to visit. We Thanks really, for sharing. We really enjoyed it. It was really good, actually. And every, every day since we went there, we've been talking to Lisa and Aid, and Lisa just wants to be back there, and we're like, she's already booked again. <laughs> yeah. 
One more. <laughs> um, Madame CEO says, hotel looks a mess. Need the name so I can make certain not to stay there. Otherwise, trip looks lovely. Disney does Christmas best. Explorers Hotel was very nice. Yep. It was all right. It was full of kids. I won't say that again. And you got cold kids. there. Uh, Nat, one more. Nat says, um, oh, makes me want to go right now. Love your blogs, guys. Looking forward to the next update. There we go. Thanks for commenting, guys. Nick's off for a bath before I was watch party because it's cold. I'm bleeding bacon. Um, so we'll see you on the next episode of the Lodge Guys Vlogmas. Give us a comment below. Drop us a comment below. I said that twice. Hit the like button. Hit the notification bell. And, um, notification and bell. Oh, I'm tired. I'm waiting Whatever. For my, I'm waiting for my cold tablets. We'll be back in. tomorrow. Bye. Bye.